Hey guys, what's up? It's the Freaky397 here. Um, today I'll be showing you on Skyrim Special Edition how to do the Fortify Restoration loop. Now, it didn't get patched um, in the transition to the Xbox One, PS4, um, and I can still do it. Everyone can still do it from what I've seen. And first of all, what you're going to need to make the potion itself, you're going to need Abacane Logfin. You'll also need Cyrodiilic Spade Tail and you'll need a whole load of salt pile uh, in this case I've got over a hundred um, you can get all of these three from outside Riften near the fisheries either in the fish barrels which are the salt piles and cereal spade tail and you can get the abacan longfin in the water um, and yep uh, so what you're gonna need to do have um, uh, creative potions are at least 25% more powerful overall so in this case I've got a circlet with plus 12% hide braces with plus 8% a ring with plus 15% and a necklace with plus 8% so that's well over 25% and also uh, wait no I'll just show you guys first um, alchemy level uh, it's preferred if you have two points invested in the very first skill as so, um, one point invested in Physician and one point invested in Benefactor. Uh, in this case, well in any case, Poison doesn't really matter because you're not making a Poison, but to make sure you have at least four skill points to invest in these three skills. So, without further ado, I'll show you guys what to do first. Um, make sure you save before you guys do this, just in case game glitches up. We're going to do mix either one of those two potions together and you get a fortify restoration potion now what you're going to want to do you're going to exit uh, unequip all of the items with um, increased uh, potions and then you're going to take the potion when I can find it there we go so what you're going to do you're going to take it then re-equip all of your items and as you can see they are slightly increased um, and just make sure you always quick save every couple of times just in case the game glitches or you make a potion too strong it breaks the game which I have previously done so as you can see it's now 84% stronger instead of just 49 so it's almost double improvement um, so as I said before you're going to unequip all of your items retake the potion and re-equip your items and as you can see still slightly increased um, but it's stacking on and on um, as you make more and more potions, the effect will stack greater and greater, um, and you'll eventually make potions where it's plus a million percent times better, which that's the time that you need to stop or else the game will break. Um, it'll just shut down Skyrim, and in some cases it has actually restarted my Xbox, um, which is not good, but that's why I say, always save. And yep, what I'm going to do, just keep making the potions, and I'll just fast forward the video, and okay, I am back guys, as you can see my potion is plus 2,700%, um, as soon as I start hitting the thousands mark for your potions, you're going to want to start saving, just in case you don't make the right potion strength, or in case your game breaks all of a sudden, which mine has in the past, um, it's always great to save. Hence why I always say, save, save, save. Um, just keep doing this. It took me about a minute and a half to get up to 2,700 from where I was before, where I cut off earlier. Um, and it doesn't take that long. Levels up your alchemy pretty quickly. Um, as you can see, look at that potion strength right there. Um, at the moment, it looks really good. Hence why I made two, and I'm going to go back and make more. Um, but... This is the only bad thing. Uh, if you wait an hour in game, um, see these stats, they also take into account from the potion that you just had taken, so the results will be inflated. Whereas if you wait an hour to where your equipment don't have the potion on them anymore, as you can see, it's only 2000% stronger, and you don't want that. You want a potion that's really, really strong. So, as I said, that's why you always save. So I'm going to go back to my quick save real quick and just fix it up. Um, 
Yeah, about the ingredients, as I said, you can find these guys near Rifton. Uh, not they're very hard to find, or you can just buy them, they're all cheap. Um, salt piles, really cheap, really common. Uh, fish aren't so common, but easy to get. So, I'll just kick off where I stuffed up. There we go. As soon as your equipment starts getting into the thousands, um, you're going to start finishing up your potions. I'll just make one more, and as you can see, my equipment will be in the tens of thousands now, um, after I take this next potion, and that's when you know you can only make one or two more potions before your game completely breaks. As you can see, the potion value right now, when I make it, is, I think, yep, look at that. Look at that. It's a massive number, and my alchemy increased from 50-something, I think it was 53 or 54, to 99 in pretty much instantly. So, as I said, look at the value right now. If you're happy with that, if you're happy with it being halved or quartered, then just wait an in-game hour, go back to it, and look how much the value gets cut, guys. That's why you always need to make more potions than you think you need to, but yeah. Um, so if you guys like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment what, go, comment what video you guys want me to make next, and I'll catch you guys later.